1. Stanley Milgram's Obedience Experiment Stanley Milgram, an American social psychologist, conducted an experiment in 1961 to study the level of obedience people have to authority figures, even when it conflicts with their personal moral beliefs. How was the experiment conducted? Participants were told they were participating in a study on memory and learning. They were divided into teachers and students, but the students were actors. The teachers were instructed to ask the students questions and administer increasingly strong electric shocks for each wrong answer. Results Most participants continued to follow the orders, even when the shocks became painful and potentially dangerous. This demonstrated how strongly people can obey authority figures, even when it goes against their personal values. Impact this experiment shed light on the darker sides of human nature and explained why ordinary people can engage in cruel actions under orders from higher authorities. It also raised important ethical questions about scientific research. 2. Philip Zimbardo's Prison Simulator Experiment In 1971, Philip Zimbardo conducted the famous Stanford Prison Experiment to study how situational factors can influence people's behavior. How was the experiment conducted? Students were randomly assigned roles of prisoners and guards in a simulated prison set up in the basement of Stanford University. The experiment was supposed to last two weeks but was terminated after six days due to the escalation of cruelty from the guards and the stress experienced by the prisoners. Results The experiment demonstrated how quickly people can adopt roles and behave according to societal expectations, even if it means mistreating others. Impact This experiment highlighted the power of situational factors over individual traits and helped understand the mechanisms of evil in society. It also led to a re-evaluation of ethical standards in psychological research. 3. Ivan Pavlov's Classical Conditioning Experiment Ivan Pavlov, a Russian physiologist, conducted research in the late 19th century on conditioned reflexes, leading to the discovery of classical conditioning. How was the experiment conducted? Pavlov noticed that dogs began to salivate not only in response to food but also to sounds that preceded the food, such as a bell. He began systematically studying this phenomenon, using a bell as a conditioned stimulus associated with the unconditioned stimulus, food. Results The dogs began to respond to the bell by salivating, even when no food was present. This demonstrated that conditions can form new reflexes through association. Impact This experiment became the foundation for the development of behaviorism and significantly influenced the understanding of learning and behavior in humans and animals. 4. Solomon Ash's Conformity Experiment In 1951, Solomon Ash conducted an experiment to investigate how strongly social pressure can influence individual beliefs. How was the experiment conducted? Participants were asked to evaluate the length of lines. They did this in the presence of a group of actors who gave incorrect answers. The goal was to see if the participants would change their answers under group pressure. Results about 75% of participants were inclined to agree with the group's incorrect answer at least once, even when they were confident in their own correctness. Impact This experiment highlighted the power of social pressure and the importance of group dynamics in shaping individual behavior. 5. Stanford's Procrastination Experiment, Soft Spinning This experiment, conducted at Stanford University, explored the mechanisms of procrastination and ways to overcome it. How was the experiment conducted? Participants were asked to complete a series of tasks that were deliberately complicated to provoke procrastination. The researchers observed the participants' behavior and their methods of overcoming delays. Results It turned out that procrastination is often linked to an internal conflict between the desire to achieve a goal and the fear of failure or negative consequences. Impact This experiment helped to understand the psychological roots of procrastination and develop effective strategies to overcome it, such as breaking tasks into smaller parts and setting realistic goals. 6. Stanford's Marshmallow Experiment, Test of Patience 
In the 1960s, psychologist Walter Mischel conducted an experiment on children's patients, known as the marshmallow test. How was the experiment conducted? Children were offered a marshmallow and told to leave the room without eating it for a certain period. If they managed to wait, they would receive a second marshmallow. Results Children who were able to resist eating the first marshmallow demonstrated better academic achievements, social skills, and self-control in the future. Impact This experiment highlighted the importance of self-control and patience for success in life and became the foundation for further research in self-regulation and motivation. 7. Dorothy Steinberg's Language Comprehension Experiment Dorothy Steinberg conducted an experiment to understand how children learn language and develop linguistic skills. How was the experiment conducted? She observed children in different age groups, analyzing their language abilities and communication methods. Results The research showed that language skills develop gradually and are linked to cognitive development as well as social interactions. Impact this experiment significantly influenced the understanding of language development in children and contributed to the development of methods for early learning and correction of language disorders. 8. Robert Sternberg's Creativity Experiment Robert Sternberg, an American psychologist, studied the mechanisms of creativity and innovation in people by conducting various experiments. How was the experiment conducted? Sternberg used tasks that required participants to generate new ideas or solve problems in unconventional ways. He analyzed the thinking processes and factors that contribute to creativity. Results It turned out that creativity depends on a combination of intellectual abilities, motivation, and emotional state. People who actively seek new ideas and have high internal motivation demonstrate greater creativity. Impact this experiment helped understand how to develop creative abilities and create conditions that foster innovation in various areas of life. Which of these experiments impressed you the most and why? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give the video a like.